Hey guys, Destroy Yesterday here again. Uh, today, I'm gonna go over the different methods that people have used to farm and help you figure out which way works best for the way you like to play. Because um, each particular way is different. Um, some is quick farming, some is long farming. Depends on how much you want to explore and things. So, I'm gonna go over that for you so you can help decide what you want to work towards rather than just being super confused as there's so much stuff out there on Reddit and YouTube and Facebook on ways that people like to farm and what they think is best. <clears throat> so I'll go over that and then I'll explain to you the way I do it and why I do it that the way I do. <clears throat> okay? All right. So first, let's take a look here at what people most like to do, which is getting the circuit board and the liquid explosive, each which make around a million units um, per um, element or board and explosive, whatever. Um, now, that's all great fun and good, but those take two things to make. So acid, as remember, so the explosive takes acid and unstable gel. Acid <clears throat> takes fungal mold and mordite. Sta the unstable gel takes cactus flesh, all right? So remember that. And the circuit board takes um, frost crystal, selenium. I'll just look at it here so it's easier for you to see. Um, heat capacitor, which takes frost crystal fiber, which is cactus flesh and star bolts. Okay, so keep that in mind. So a lot of things to make one thing. Now, if you go to the build here, the section and do more info you can look at the plants and it will tell you how fast they grow in the right over here these are the approximate growing time so for the most part they're relatively quickly all um, for three out of the four fungals 30 minutes sky frostwort 15 minutes pretty quickly there not too long um, and mordite is an hour so not terrible um, but the worst part is you need selenium in order to make the circuit board and selenium takes two hours to fully grow so if you're someone that just likes to make a base and stay home and just chill and roam around your own planet this is for you you will make lots of money in a longer period of time but it will come in in huge clumps especially if you have I mean 20 plus of each of these plants in your farm. So that is one method to, to just wait forever and mess around on your own planet while it grows. Um, same thing goes for, if, we, if you remember here, I explained, the liquid explosive takes the acid, which is the fungal mold, um, again, and the unstable gel which is just the cactus flesh, all right, for this one. So remember, Mordite took an hour, um, and Tamer, Tamer, uh, and I, I keep calling it Tamerium because that's what it used to, I'm used to that, but fungal mold takes half an hour, so not terrible, and the cactus flesh, but yeah, see, this takes two hours as well. So you're waiting longer, but you're getting a higher reward for those huge million dollar things. Now, it can pay off if you have multiple of the same plant. That's the, the thing there. <clears throat> so, you can do that um, if you're willing to just run around. Because um, the star bolt, you also need two. Only takes half an hour. So, that's not terrible. But you're gonna be waiting two hours for either um, the um, cactus flesh or the Selenium. Two hours is a long time. Now, there's other ways too. You could farm just one thing. For instance, you could just farm glass. So, just the, the frost for it here. It takes 15 minutes for these to grow. Um, and so you would get constant income continuously. Because um, those are worth about 40 grand when you cluck, um, craft them into glass. Um, so if you have enough of them, you can make decent money with that. And it's, it's fairly consistent. It will always be grown when you come back. If you leave somewhere, it'll always be there. Um, or you can just craft lubricant. Gamma root and copyright. Copyright grows really quickly. So does gamma root. 30 minutes. Copyright, 
30 minutes. So not that bad. That's not bad. Plus, the lubricant is worth more than the glass. About 120,000 units more. So you could do that if you want immediate money continuously. Or you could do album and pearls. These though, however, I wouldn't recommend you just do straight up album and pearls because, well, I don't have any to show you um, how much these, uh, they sell for about 20,000 units um, and they take 80 minutes to grow. So not super quick, but not super long. So probably not the, uh, the best way to go for these. Nip nip buds are definitely an option. People love to do that. <clears throat> Um, they don't say how long they grow. This is the only one that doesn't. I have found, though, I think they're about 40 minutes for Nip Nips to grow, is my guess. Because they grow slightly slower than the Star Bramble here. And those are 30 minutes. So that's what I think. It might be an hour at most. So those aren't bad. You can get 20 grand from those. Um, or... There's the method of growing everything, like I do. Now, the reason why I do this, so see here I got everything. I got my uh, gamma root, and um, in here, selenium, to, uh, fungal mold. As you saw, you already saw my skywort, and uh, pearls, and nip nip, and everything. I got it all here, except for the orbs, because um, those don't really make much. They're like $6,000, so not that much. Um, now the reason why I do that is one, I get a constant income continuously from the glass. With what I have left over from this glass, I can use the selenium to make the heat capacitor. When I make a heat capacitor, I wait until I have enough cactus flesh and star bulb to make the polyfiber, combine them, and then I make a circuit board. Um, same thing goes for acid. I'll make acid and the unstable gel with cactus flesh and save it as you can see over here Once I make it I'll save it till I have enough cactus flesh and then I'll make a liquid explosive um, And then extra, ga extra gamma root I have and mordite. I mean, excuse me, copyright. I'll make with the lubricant And if I have even more extra I'll put those two together and make a living glass, which is 700,000 units. <clears throat> so to me, my personal opinion, um, the best way is to farm everything. You get not only a constant income, but you also get the big bucks too. Um, yesterday, I mean, I've been playing for maybe three hours total for these past two days, and I've, I was about 54 million yesterday. Um, so I've just been here exploring my planet, buying these new suit upgrades, which are really cool. Um, they hold 500 when you get a cargo slot, which is awesome. Um, now, big misclaimer here and warning. Here's the thing. If you sell too much of one item continuously on your home planet, the, uh, the prices drop every time you sell something to them. So... I can't show you here because I don't have it and yet, but Album and Pearls, I started when I first created this home base, were $23,000 when I first started. They are now down to $14,000 because I've sold so many of them continuously. Um, <clears throat> so keep that in mind. If you sell one item only frequently, it's going to drop like no other very quickly. Um, so be aware of that. Um, one benefit too, if you like to farm everything, like I do, is you will find new blueprints that will acquire something you might not have. But for me, I have everything here. So I can make almost every blueprint immediately because I also have stuff saved on my freighter. Um, so that is a big plus. Uh, something else too is you can organize your storage containers as well. Um, by different things in order to keep track of all the stuff you're making. So if you don't have enough room in your exosuit yet, it's red for element, um, isotopes because it matches the color, toxic and uh, 
gamma intensive stuff going here, just normal building stuff like voltaic cells and carrot sheets and things going there to build stuff and then blue elements and glass and things going there just so I can keep track of everything um, easier. So those are all the methods, methods guys. I hope you can find which one fits your playing style, whether you want uh, immediate gratification from constant uh, money consistently. Um, and I'd go with the, the frostwort type methods or lubricant <clears throat> um, to being an extreme patient player who I'm um, waiting for those huge million do million dollar units um, with the explosives and the circuit boards you like to wait around and just explore um, so or you're somewhere in between whatever fits your best playing style whether you're a huge stay at home body kind of like I am I kind of like to just sit here but I do like to get money consistently um, for instance if I want to buy so I buy stuff a lot I don't usually go out exploring simply because I have so much money um, so that's nice um, but I do like to make the big bucks as you can see with my 65 million dollars so <clears throat> it's all up to you and your play style I hope that really helps out feel free to message me with any other questions you might have regarding this um, so, um, other than that though, I hope everything works out for you. Thanks guys.